Well, welcome to the Tuesday uh, session for uh, Lab 3 in MEC 217. Uh, as far as I can tell, everything's fixed up from the outage that we had on OnCue last night, but I'll keep an eye out for any connection problems and see what we can figure out. What I'd like to lead you through in this brief introduction is just to talk about the things that you're going to be doing during this lab and give you some hints on how to move forward. So we talked about this a little bit last night. You'll still have the same main event page where you're gonna answer questions. You're gonna connect and test an I2C sensor. And some of you will have a sensor like this little purple one plugged into your board. And some of you will have a sensor like this LIS3DH plugged into your board. And if there are any others, uh, I don't think there are any others out there, but if there are any others lurking, uh, let's, uh, let's talk about them individually afterwards. Now, it, both of these sensors, the LIS3DH is an accelerometer, and the purple one probably has a BMP280 on it, but it might have a BME280 on it. They're pressure sensors. And it's important to use the appropriate I2C library from the Arduino uh, library collection that you installed to make it match. So for the LIS3DH, use the LIS3DH library. For the BMP280, make sure you use the BMP library. And if you wanna understand a little bit more about which one is which, uh, watch this video down here, it's actually intended for lab 10, but it goes through the process of identifying your pressure transducer and making sure you've got the right one and you get the right library installed. I mentioned this particular line last night. That's something you're gonna need if you've got one of the little purple ones, the BME 280 or the BMP 280 you'll have to be explicit about saying that the address of that device is hex 76 when you call the begin statement. So when you call up the example from the library, you'll have to make a little bit of a change in that example in order for it to work. <clears throat> now this is the version that we've used in the in-person labs. I don't think anybody will have one of these in their hands but it talks about using a BMP-180 pressure sensor, which is a similar sensor, but older generation. Um, going to uh, last night's outage, I put an announcement up just a few minutes ago. Deadlines for all submissions and for the quiz are extended by one day. So you will have until the end of the day on Wednesday to submit your Tuesday group lab report and you will have it till the end of the day today to make sure that you get a good mark on the quiz. Um, later on, we're going to be doing some labs that involve servos uh, and load cells, and those are things that somebody in your group is going to have to pick up. So on the 8th of October, we'll have a pickup at the BMH front doors for all groups and the Tuesday groups, that's you guys, will be picking up a load cell and a servo. And all the other groups will just be picking up the servo. You'll bring that back to us on the 22nd of October so that we can share it out with the Wednesday group and then the Friday group. And likewise, further down here, you can see the dates for the pickups for, uh, for the other groups. And I'll be reminding you about that later on to make sure that everybody's got one of those load cells in hand so that you can do the lab. Uh, what else did I have that I wanted to look at today? Once you've connected and tested the I2C sensor, you should be able to get data coming in saying the pressure is about uh, 100 kilopascals right now. Right, that's uh, nominal atmospheric pressure. If you can succeed in that, then it's time to move on to your previous sketch that you worked on last night that smooths data. And once you've got that smooth version of last week's measurements working, then take the stuff from the I2C sensor example 
and move it into your own analog code from last week. And so you should be able to simultaneously take analog and digital data and show it all on the screen. And the question is, do the values from your I2C sensor make sense? Um, the, the main objective this week is simply to get analog and digital measurements working side by side. The last thing you'll do today is make a measurement of the atmospheric pressure and how it changes with elevation. So what you should see with your pressure sensor is as you increase the elevation, even by as little as half a meter, you should see a change in the average pressure. There's about a 12 Pascal pressure difference for a one meter rise in elevation. And the question is, based on what you observe today, is this pressure sensor sensitive enough that you could use it as an altimeter to land a, uh, land a drone? Or is it just good enough to tell that you're walking upstairs? Now these sensors, the, um, I think the BMP 280 goes into iPhones starting at about iPhone 8 somewhere. Uh, but these pressure sensors are one of the key items that are showing up in your phone so that it can tell how the altitude is changing and tell a little bit about the weather. Um, that's about all you're going to do during today's lab. So I'd be happy to take any general questions first, or you can just get started uh, doing the lab activity. Don't Would see any hands up, but if you want to unmute and just say something. 